I wanted to talk to you about a Schoology assessment issue that I just heard about today with matching questions. And so I'm going to just show you a question that I set up. And the issue is if you are setting up matching and you want them to get a point for matching Mickey to Mouse, Donald to Duck, etc., then you've got to hit partial match. Now I'm going to leave this exact match just to show you what it looks like. Um, if you do not hit partial match, let me go ahead and show you one that's, that's done. See that zero out of 13? This was originally set up as exact match. So Schoology is not counting any of these correctly. So the teacher would have to go in by hand and do that. So let me just kind of walk you through this. So when you're making your questions, if I um, wanted my students to get a point for each one right, I would select partial match. If if you want them to get them exactly right, then go ahead and say exact match. Um, that is fine. So I made the exact same question right here, but I wanted to show you on this one that I set it up as partial. So number one is exact, number two is partial. I'll hit save on this. And in fact, I'm gonna go ahead and hit refresh just so we know that is the most uh, recent version of this. I'm gonna go in as a student and I'm gonna take this matching um, question. You can have different types of questions on assessments. I just made both of these matching. So right now I have nothing out of eight. I'm gonna start this attempt. Wait for it to load. And now I can drag these here. I'm purposely gonna miss the second and third one. And I'm gonna do it the exact same way for this one. Remember this one is partial and the other one was exact. So I'll click review, finish, and yes. Now I did say on this quiz, students could view it with correct answers. So I will go in and select that view. And right now it's telling me I have two out of eight. But yet when I look, I have these two right, so I would expect a two out of four there. Um, and then I have two out of four here because this allowed for partial credit or partial match. So let's say you figure out a student got a lower score than what you would think. Like if you start to see a bunch of low scores, you might go back in and say, hmm, let me fix this by changing this to partial match. So I'll go in. And I'll make this partial and I'll click save and we already know the other one was partial I'm gonna go ahead and hit refresh I always like to hit that refresh button make sure everybody knows what the latest version is but look I still only have two of eight that should have gone to four of eight so I have to go in now two completed and I have to look for these and manually enter two out of four and then hit enter then if I go um, back to the grading page, I just got a phone call and I forget where exactly I left off, but I do believe I went in and manually redid this and then had to refresh the grade. So if you are giving quizzes with lots of matching, um, Try to remember that you want to set it up as partial match at the beginning, and so you won't have to go in later and count these up by hand. I hope this was helpful.